Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to come on here and show you guys my Selena Mac collection. Please excuse that I sound sick. I am really sick right now and I have the sniffles and my head hurts and everything. But I wanted to come on and show you guys my Selena co um, collection, what I got, and a couple of dupes in case you didn't get your hands on some of it. And I am going to start with the lipsticks that I got. The first of the three lipsticks, which is my favorite, is Dreaming of You. And it is the darkest one. Uh, dupes for Dreaming of You would be um, Elizabeth Arden Brick, which is $24. But I'm not sure if it's discontinued. Um, you would have to look into that. I know that I used to have a actual one. If you go to my back, um, past videos, you'll see it's like a gold packaging. I'm not sure if it's discontinued. But that's one option. A second option would be Urban Decay's Hex, which is H-E-X, which is $17. And um, a third option for Dreaming of You would be Maybelline New York Smoking Red, which is $5.50. So that's like a cheaper alternative if you didn't get your hands on the um, Dreaming of You. Now, the next color, which is my favorite, is Como La Flor. And this is like her signature red color that she would wear on stage. And in most of her photo shoots, this is basically the color that she is known for. Some dupes for that one would be um, Dior Rouge in number 844, which is $35, which would be like a first dupe that you could get. Um, a second one would be CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lipstick and hot 305 which is eight dollars and 57 cents so that's more of a on the low end prices that you could get a dupe and a third would be makeup forever artistic lip ink which is 40 dollars which that i would not suggest getting a dupe that costs like twice the amount of the original so i mean you can check into those dupes and see which one works for you and of the third lipstick that I found, or the, excuse me, the third lipstick of the collection, which is Amor Prohibido, which is more of the nude color that she wore. I, that one dupes that you could wear would be um, Matte Cream Sheen Shanghai Spice. Now, I do own that color, and I would say it's, a similar dupe, but the Shanghai Spice is a little bit lighter, and it's, like I said, a different finish. It's a cream sheen, which is more like a frost, and so, which is um, listed on the site as $40, but I actually paid 17 or 18 for mine, so, and a second dupe would be Too Faced La Creme Color Drenched Lipstick in Honey Bear, which is $22. And they said it's a little bit more shimmery and a little dark, darker than the matte color. But a third dupe would be Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Pink Truffle, which is $6.45. So that would be more on the low end if you want to get a dupe. Um, keep in mind that they said that the Revlon one is a little bit slightly cooler. Got the Bitty Bitty Bum Bum Lip Glass. Yeah, the Bitty Bitty Bum Bum lip glass, which has little specks of like glitter or sparkles in it. And I haven't used it, but I can say that the scent is more of like a cocoa scent. But I mean, it doesn't smell bad or anything. On to eyeshadows, I got the um, brown one, which is No Me Queda Mas, which I'm guessing this was probably Selena's transition color. Like between her brow bone and like her crease, you know. But that's what that color looks like. And I got the black one, which is Is It the Beat? And it looks like this. Like a pure black. And I have not touched these at all. So 
I'm excited, but it'll probably be a little bit longer before I touch them because they are very like sentimental to me. And um, what I wanted the most, which I kind of wanted regardless of if I got anything else, was the um, the compact of her blush and bronzer, which looks like this. It has her name in it. I really do apologize for my lighting, but um, the Technocumbia compact, which is like my favorite, and like the outer packaging has her name on it. If you can see that, yeah, okay. But that's what I wanted the most. I still haven't touched any of it, and I could not find dupes on any of the eyeshadows. But I mean, those are just like basic colors that you can kind of find in any palette. I just feel like those are more geared toward um, what Selena wore on stage mostly. Um, I do feel like if Selena was still alive, her um, her packaging would look more appealing to the eye. More like, probably more glitter and more reds and more whites. Kind of along the lines corresponding with her um, perfume collection. But I'll try to insert pictures in the end of what the some of the perfumes look like. Um, I don't own any personally, but I've seen a lot online and like the packaging was like so beautiful. But I feel like since it was just up to her family that, I mean, they knew that her favorite color was purple. And so they kind of just made everything purple, which is not bad, but I feel like um, the Mariah Carey uh, the Mariah Carey matte collection was a lot more more time put into it instead of like oh let's just make everything purple but I'm so excited or I'm so glad that I got what I got from the collection and I'm like ecstatic about it if you guys want a makeup tutorial on this look then please let me know down in the comments please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know what other type of videos that you would like to see in the future and thank you all for watching.